世界へと誘う案内人金剛院みくる人呼んでギリギリ親父と申しますさて我々が住むジャポーネ王国というこの小さな国には昔ドラムレスという凶悪かつ残忍極まりない魔物がおりやしたドラムレスは人々を恐怖に陥れることを喜びとしその悪行は永遠に続くかと思われやしたそんなある日一人の若者が現れなんとドラムレスを恐れ山に封印したんでさ人々はそりゃもう大変喜び彼を勇者として後世語り継ぎやしたしかし最近になって恐れ山で何やら異変が起こっているらしいんでさあっしはどうも嫌な予感がして何年っしとまあこの続きはあなた様ご自身の目で確かめてくださいokay i think i'll say hello now um hello and welcome i'm bio and today we're playing another playstation one randoms what in the hell is that thing <laughs> it's just giant giant furry marshmallow lovely um so yeah we're playing another playstation one randoms today and today's game is uh lightning legend daigo no daiboken japanese exclusive playstation one game uh, oh my word, she got some balloons. She got those balloons. The balloon balloon. <laughs> oh god, not. Oh my word, that's even worse. Okay then. Alright. Alrighty then. <laughs> I like how there's no music during this program. Uh, this like little character show off, like character introduction thing that they're doing. Seems like a lot of characters as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to do this uh, as a PlayStation 1 random. Um, it seems to be a 3D fighting game. It's developed by uh, Konami Computer Entertainment Tokyo. I don't know what the T is. Either it's Tokyo, maybe Taiwan. No, it can't be Tokyo, I'd imagine. Um, but then again, why wouldn't it be to Japan? I don't know. Either way, um, one an in in-house Konami team, and published by Konami, and released in December 1996. Um, all right. Let's have a look to see what this game is like. Obviously, as a 3D fighting game, I, you know, I would like to do the story, but don't get me wrong, we're probably not going to understand any of it. It's all going to be in Japanese. Um, so we're just going to go to the versus mode and see how we get on with the versus mode. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure. That seems like quite a long intro um, to the game. And then obviously the character portraits with no music was a bit strange. Oh! Ooh, I like this. This is a, uh, oh. I see the two-player icon, which is a bit unfortunate, but maybe we can have a little practice with this. So I like this character select screen. This character select screen is great, by the way. It's very, it's got a lot of character here. You go, you got each of the characters when you hover over them, you know, they open their eyes. Um... We can also play as the guy in the distance. I don't even know who that is. And then him, and then the marshmallow thing. Um, let's play as Baloo Baloo. <laughs> there we go. And obviously player two. Um, can't make a choice because there is no player two. But what we can do, seeing as there's a timer, actually helps us a little bit. We can let the timer run out, and then we can have a little like test match. I guess we have to play the story mode then. Don't really have much of a choice. I don't personally like. I don't personally like it in a game. And then against 1996, that's very early in the PlayStation One's lifespan. So this is probably a very early 3D fighting game. Not as early as Battle Arena or Toshinden, but still pretty early. Um, but I don't like it in a, f a fighting game that has a versus mode. But the versus mode is only one player versus two player. I know this is a sign of the times, but you know. There were games back in the time in that time that had versus computer. 
So it's just a little bit of a nitpick. I'm thinking about it, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Did Battle Arena Toshinden have versus computer? I don't know. Ah, uh, like that is it? All right. Do I have like? Oh, no, no. I was hoping to see if I had player two set up. I didn't realize this was going to happen. So let me uh, let me let me just question a little bit here. If you didn't have a second controller, how would you get out this menu? Would you have to reset the console? Isn't that like by design a massive flaw? I'm just saying, is that not by design a, a massive flaw in um I don't know how it's how it works? Yeah, I don't think I can. Unfortunately, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to. Reset it. No, oh, there we go. Well, that sucks. Um, so yeah, do you, do you not think that that's just a massive flaw in the game that in order, in order to back out of a menu because you don't have a second controller, you need to reset the console? It's just. To me, that's a design flaw. You know, you wouldn't, you would you not think about that? I don't know. I guess it was so easy just to reset the console back then, but nowadays it's like so many intros. Um, I'm curious to know who this character is in the background, but at the same, I think it's that ninja dude. Who do you reckon? Should we play as Baloo Baloo or Blue Baloo? That is a very lanky cat. I'm just seeing in the bottom right. Let's play as let's play as this girl. Can't have Baloo Baloo all the time. Oh, do I pick who I'm fighting? Okay, let's fight her then. Or am I picking multiple characters I can play during the playthrough? I don't know. I can only assume each character has their own kind of uh, story. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll skip through this because at the end of the day, we're not going to understand it anyway. Okay, skip again. There we go. So Mayu versus Misa in Kyoto. Cool. I like little cats coming along. Oh, so we are fighting her. Yeah, graphic, graphics-wise, very anime-looking. So that's a short punch, kick. That's like a. Is that like a taunt? Oh god. She is wrecking me now. Yeah, she 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 beat me. I'm not surprised. She you know she had she got me in a combo. How she does that? Not exactly uh, particularly easy on the. Uh... I like. <laughs> I've just noticed her. Oh, Baloo Baloo. Uh, what's her Misa is her name. God damn it! Her 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 Balongadongs are going all over the place. They are going all over the place. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Why? I'm, oh, look, you lose. What a surprise. Like, of course I'm going to lose. Your game doesn't give me an option to try or, or learn the game. <laughs> this is like, there's no training mode. Can't go into verses and have a little test matches. Can I to, to experiment? Can't do that. So the only thing I can do is go into story mode. Oh look, yeah, continue. This again, it's just very strange. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's again, it's a sign. Of, I, I, I always assume it's just a sign of the times. But then I think to myself, would I, th would I come up with this? You know, I want to know how she does that. Okay. 
No matter what, she's going to always beat me because at the end of the day, I don't have a very good understanding of the controls. But I'm not going to get a very good understanding of the controls because I'm not getting a chance to learn the game. I don't like how the only attack I can do is square. By the way, the only attack I can do is square because any other attack takes too long of a wind up for me to do. Look, there, look. And she's always able to... Then there's that move, which I personally believe is a bit of a hack move. Like... Alright, I can do that as well, can I? Alright. That's bullshit. It's basically like a grab, but I think it's a little bit bullshit that I'm trying to defend and she can just simply grab me and throw me to the other side. I guess we're going to have to go... Okay, then button mash time. Well, this is what this is what the game's now resulted in me. Just... You hear this? This is what the game's now resulted in me. Don't want, don't, don't let me learn how to play the game. Fine, it's not a problem. I'll just button mash. Welcome to what most people do, because fighting games are bullshit. If I win doing this, I'm just gonna fucking just stop playing. We've got the exact same amount of health, really. This is just what it results to. You just. Now my arm hurts. Oh, good. She beat me. Good. I don't have to play this anymore. I don't like this. Um, I don't see how I'm supposed to learn how to play the game. Because the first person I'm fighting is too powerful. She just railroads me. So... No wonder this game didn't get released in the West. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Most of the time, you got to realise, a lot of these games, the reasons why they didn't get released in the West was because they were too difficult. They knew immediately that they'd be too difficult for... Uh... Shut the fuck up. It'd be too difficult... Too. So, so sorry. I again, I didn't mean to swear there. <laughs> I try, I so, try so hard, and then it's like Mr. Retard Face has to look at me and, and be like, and then I have to look at him and go, shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, yeah. So my two cents on this game is that it's fine for what it is. Again, I I always say it's fine for what it is for a game because it it play it you know in terms of how it plays, it plays fine. But I find the game to be a little bit difficult for new players. Um, there's no real way to learn the game. Um, you could always argue manual. No, that's not acceptable. I'm sorry. Um, I don't care. if it, it's, Again, there's a reason we got rid of manuals. And I like the fact that we got rid of manuals in, in newer games. Because we don't need them. The game should have it built in. And you don't even need to have it built in. It's called a training mode. Most fighting games have them you have a training mode in the training mode it shows you the combo list it shows you all the moves you can do and then you can practice 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 that is how you get good at a fighting game you don't allow that luxury well you could call it a luxury whatever you if you don't allow that feature let's say it's a feature because it should be a feature then you can't expect me to or anyone really to learn your game at all like, the only way I could see you learning this game is through trial and error. That's it. Just trial and error. Just keep, like, brute force. It's what I call brute force play. You brute force in your way into the game. And at the end of the day, when you actually learn how to play the game and get good at it, to me, if you feel satisfaction from that, it's not the right satisfaction. I'm sorry. It really isn't. Like, you know, it really isn't. It's the reason why I didn't enjoy Sekiro. Like, I can play difficult games because I played, you know, Dark Souls, and I know people say, "Oh, it's Dark Souls is not difficult." It is a difficult game. You got to have a certain. It's all about mindset. 
But in Sekiro, I found Sekiro quite difficult because the tactics that you use in Dark Souls don't work in Sekiro. In Sekiro, you have to kind of brute force your way. And that's just not how I play games. I don't play games like that. So I had to stop playing Sekiro because I couldn't adapt because that's just not how I play games. I don't brute force my way through games to learn how to play them. I take my time to try and learn them properly. But if the game doesn't afford you that feature, then is it a fault on you or is it a fault on the game? You'd probably argue that it's a fault on you. I would argue it's a fault on the game. At the end of the game day, I personally believe a game should be accessible to everyone. That's my stance. Anyway, I didn't mean to go into a rant, but sometimes I just, you know, it, it, it it's just how I am sometimes. It's just so you, you just end up going into this like rant because you, you want the game to be better. You want it to be better than it is. That's just my, my feeling. So I'm not saying this game is bad. It just could do with a training mode to help you learn how to play the game. I do personally think the first battle you go into is a little bit too difficult for new players to try and, you know, you could be a little bit more lenient. So, and that's just, that's my stance. But anyway, we'll stop there. I've been Bo. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.